Hola y bienvenidos a la clase de español. Hi everyone. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Spanish class. So nice to have you here. And I'm really glad to be here too. Um, this I will I'm beginning my second year at Midlake Central School District and I couldn't be more thrilled about being here again. Um, last year was a wonderful year. It kind of ended a little bit short, but hey, we got through it. Uh, but like I said, this is my second year here. It's not my second year of teaching, but it is my second year at Midlake Central School District, and I couldn't be happier to be a part of this wonderful district and community. A little bit about myself. Um, I did my grad in my undergrad at Nazareth College. I also I had studied uh, in Spain at the University of American Studies in Valencia, Spain. So that's where I really learned how to speak Spanish. It was a wonderful opportunity. And thankfully I've had a chance to um, return and looking forward to returning again in the near future, maybe in the next couple of years. Um, so that's a little bit about my education. I do have two children. My children are grown and they're both graduated from college. My son lives out in Colorado and he is 24 and he got graduated from Colorado State University in construction management. And uh, I don't think Ben will ever make it back to upstate New York. He absolutely loves it out there. He's an avid skier. He's been skiing since he's three and it's just perfect for him out there. Uh, my daughter, she's 21 years old and she just graduated from Florida State University um, with her undergrad, and she will be attending the University of Rochester starting in January, and she will be starting with at the medical school at an accelerated nursing program. So um, thankfully, I have one home uh, with me, so it really, it really is nice to have her home. Um, we certainly miss our, my son who's out in Colorado, but anyway, so let's get to my Spanish class here. So expectations for my class. Basically be on time, sit in a quiet place, be prepared, mute your microphone, participate, try your best, and be respectful. So the big thing here, the big takeaway here is respect. That's one thing I do really push in my classes is being respectful. As I told them, if you wouldn't want it done to you or said to you, then it's probably not the best thing to be saying or doing to another person. Um, so we've had a lot of discussions about that. So respectful, being respectful is the key. I also call it la regla de oro, which is the golden rule. Moving on, tests are 45% of their average. We'll have probably two tests per marking period. That's what I try to shoot for. Each unit test consists of vocabulary, grammar um, for that particular unit. Um, tests will also consist of listening, speaking, writing. Um, every unit test won't have speaking. The midterm and final, yes, they will. Um, but always, always, always listening and writing. We'll incorporate speaking um, on a daily basis um, in class, but sometimes they will have it on a unit test too. So that's 45% of the average. Quizzes are 35% of average. They do have a lot of quizzes, um, at least one a week. It's going to be a little different this year with only meeting twice a week for now, but they will have two quizzes, um, at least one quiz every week, sometimes two. So the quizzes that they know they are going to have is um, a verb of the week quiz. A verb of the week uh, is taken from a list of the 50 most commonly used verbs in the Spanish language. So each week I take one of those verbs off the list and quiz them on it, and we work on it throughout the week. Um, also, we'll have vocabulary and grammar quizzes also.
All right. Getting to homework. Homework is 10% um, of their average. Homework is assigned pretty much on a daily basis. I try not to give homework on the weekends, but with only seeing these everybody twice a week, there's a good chance they will have an assignment on the weekend that'll be due for the following class. Um, homework is checked at the beginning of each class. Sometimes it's just handed in. Sometimes I'll just go around and check. Um, I don't accept late homework unless there's a good reason for the, for the assignment being late. I don't feel as though I give a ton of homework. I give enough homework for them to learn the concept um, and get better with the concept, but I don't give an abundance of homework. That is why I don't accept late homework. Also, a lot of times we go over the homework in class, so they've already got the answers. I don't accept late homework, but if there's a good reason for it, of course I will. I'm always flexible and I'm also very understanding. So if there's something that was going on the night before, all they have to do is tell me about it. Um, and usually not a problem at all. Um, class participation is 10% of their average. So, you know, I look for people who are willing to participate in class and are on, are on task, focused. Um, so that is my grading. So it's tests, quizzes, homework, class participation. Moving on, one last thing. The best way to contact me, um, parents, the best way for you to contact me is by email. Um, also at mbanulis at midlakes.org. Or you can message me in Schoology. Uh, this is the best and fastest way for the students to communicate with me. This is our main port platform of communication. Schoology is great. You can message me in Schoology too. Uh, but I, I try to keep the Schoology more for the kids, but I don't have to. I mean, parents can go on it too. Uh, so it's up to you. Office hours are every Wednesday from 1 until 2 by appointment or whenever they need me. So if they just need quick help with something or they need to talk about something, whatever it is, all they need to do is message me in Schoology. And as long as I'm not teaching, I will Zoom with them right then and um, help them with whatever it is that they need help with. All right, again, again I want to thank you all for stopping by and visiting. It's so nice to meet you. I cannot wait to meet you in person. Some of you I had the opportunity to meet last year because all of the Spanish, all my Spanish two students, I had them all last year at level one. So it's kind of a win-win for me. And um, I think it's good for them too, because anything that we didn't incorporate in level one, after the, you know, once the closure hit, we'll be able to incorporate and hit pretty hard this year in level two. So looking forward to a wonderful year. Thank you all for your patience with me with all this technology stuff. I'm actually getting pretty proud of myself, but who I'm actually more proud of are your children. These kids are doing an amazing job, and I couldn't be more proud of the hard work, dedication they're putting into this, and their positive attitudes. Just amazing. So anyway, thanks for listening, and I hope to see you in person very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.